I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear equations. We have learned many concepts and here is one examination style test question. It's a thinking and application question. I'd like you to pause the video, understand the question, solve, and then look into my suggestions. Also, look into my website, the globalmathinstitute.com for new videos. You can always ask questions on this email given here. We'll discuss midpoint between two lines and here is a related question which is kind of difficult. Let us see how to solve such a question. Point A on the line y equals to 3x plus 2y minus 9 uh, the equation should be point A on the line 3x plus 2y minus 9 equals to 0 and point B on the line x plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0. The midpoint of AB is minus 3, 4. Find the equation of line AB. That's the question for you. Now to understand, what I've done here is I've sketched the two lines. We are given the equation as uh, 3x plus 2y minus 9 equals to 0, right? So if you rearrange, you get the y intercepted my plus 4.5. So that is the line. So this is your first line. The other line which is given to you is x plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0. So here's the other line. x plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0, right? So this is your second line. We are going, we are given a midpoint M right in between these two lines. And the idea is that we need to find point A, which is on the line 3x plus 2y minus x and the point B on the other line. And then connect these two points, which will go through the midpoint, correct? Find the equation of that particular line. So, so the question is kind of like this. So somewhere we have to find the point A on the first line and B on the second line so that these two distances are equal, correct? So that's the whole idea. So what are we going to do? Well, we'll consider the point A as, let's say, PQ, right? Let that be the coordinate of A and let MN be the coordinate of point B. In that case, if I substitute P for X, I get the equation 3P plus 2Q for Y, right? We can take 9 on the other side. And similarly, write the other equation as in the terms of A, M, and N, right? So m for x plus 3n equals to minus 6. So substituting the points, we get these two equations. Now from here, how do we find the value of p and q? Well, we are given the midpoint, right? So you know the midpoint formula? Well, the midpoint is, we'll use this formula for midpoint, which is basically if you are given the two points, in that case, the average value is the midpoint. So P plus M divided by 2 is the X value. And Q plus N divided by 2 will be the Y value. And since we are given M as minus 3 minus 4, we can equate P plus M by 2 to minus 3, right? So that can help us solve for P in terms of M or m in terms of p. Similarly, we'll get q plus n over 2 as equal to the y value 4. Now, these two will help us find one in terms of the other, right? So basically, we're working with these two equations, right? Let's say equation 1 and equation 2. And we have four unknowns, right? p, q, m, and n. Now, the midpoint relates these four unknowns 
and help us to write two equations with two unknowns, right? That should help to solve the question, right? So what we can do here is we can write in terms of m. What is m equals to? Well, m is 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6. Taking p on the other side, we get minus p. Similarly, we can isolate n, which will be 8 minus q. Now, when you get m and n, you can substitute these values of m and n in the equation 2, correct? So, we have two equations in terms of p and q. These equations can be solved to find the value of p, q, and thereby the value of m and n, right? Do you get the idea? So that will help us to get the point A and B. Once we get the points A and B, we can always find the equation between the two points, right? Line going through these two points is unique. So that is the strategy. Now with this strategy in mind, I'd like you to pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions, okay? Let's see a shortcut to this uh, suggestions. All right, so again, the question here is point A is on the line 3x plus 2y minus 9 equals to 0, and point B is on the line x plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0. The midpoint of AB is m minus 3, 4. Find the equation of the line AB. So as I was saying, let A be PQ and M and B the coordinates of point B. And we are given the midpoint is minus 3, 4. And therefore, the average value of their x is minus 3. The average value of the y's is 4. That helps us to write m in terms of p. m is equals to minus 6 minus p. And n is equals to 8 minus q. Once you get m in terms of p and n in terms of q, we can actually substitute and simplify our equations. Now, Let's look into the other part, which is we know that the point A is PQ. And this point is on the line 3x plus 2y minus 9. And therefore, we can substitute P and Q for x and y, right? So this is because we have a point A, which we are saying is PQ. Substituting the values, we get this point. So now we can rearrange and we get our equation. Let's call this equation as 1. Okay. Now, the other equation given to us is, is uh, x plus 3y equals to 6. Now, on this, we have a point P. Uh, what we have a point B, which is mn, right? So, we'll substitute m for x and n for y. So, once we do that, we get our equation in terms of m and n. Now, what is m and what is n in terms of pq? So, what we are going to do now is, from here, we have the values of m in terms of p, which is 6 minus 6 minus n. So, we are substituting this value, minus 6 minus p for m, right? And the other value, which we have as n equals to 8 minus q, we have substituted this n as 8 minus q in the above equation. Once you do that, you get a simplified form as p equals to 24 minus 3q, correct? So let me call this as our equation number 2. So now we have two equations in terms of p and q. We know that p is equal to 24 minus 3q. We can substitute this value back into our equation 1. And we'll get an equation in terms of q as shown here. So 3 times 24 minus q plus 2q is equal to 9. Simplify this equation, expand, right? And then isolate q. You get the value of q as 9. Once you find the value of q as 9, you can always find all other values related to it. We know n is 8 minus q. And so n is 8 minus q, 8 minus 9 is minus 1, correct. And we also found p is 24 minus 3q. So 24 minus 3 times q, which is 9, 
gives me minus 3. And now we can find the value of m also. Since m is related with p, minus p, minus 6. So m is minus 6 minus 3, which becomes minus 3. So we got all the values, correct. So basically, from this we can say that the points are a is minus 3, 9, and b is minus 3, minus 1, right? What do you notice? We notice that actually the line is vertical, correct? So this is your line, and these are the two points a and b, right? This is A for us, and that is B. So we have a vertical line where the coordinates of A are minus 3, 9, and coordinates of B are minus 3, minus 1. And clearly, the equation should be what? Well, the equation has to be vertical line. X value is constant, which is minus 3. And therefore, we get the equation of the line as X equals to minus 3, right? So that is how we could solve such a question. It's a very interesting question. I hope you have understood the concept. We have seen these kinds of questions in many competitive exams. So I'd like you to once again look into the suggestions given here and see how do we solve such questions based on just equation of lines. Perfect. Thank you for your time. Feel free to post your questions. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. Thanks once again. All the best.